I haven't had a full night's sleep in like three days. Why? Because we, we flew back from Denver. Uh-huh. And then by the time we... And yesterday, I went to the Supernatural New Jersey convention, which was great, but I had to get up at like 7 a.m. And we didn't get home from the airport until like 1. And then... So in that like five, five, six hours I had to sleep, Dottie decided to wake me up like every 20 minutes for pets. And the way she does is she first she goes and sticks her head in her water fountain because she likes to wash her head. (laughs) She just does. Every time she eats, she goes over and washes her head. She's a weird little cat. Then she comes and headbutts you in the face with her wet head. Until you wake up and pet her. So I was... You know, I caffeinated to go meet the Winchesters. So um, they actually they were actually there? They were actually there. We oh. got a picture with them. Oh, neat. And they are every bit as good looking in person. <laughs> yeah, um, that's the important part, sure. I mean, when you're getting a picture, yes, it is. <laughs> we got a picture with the car, with the Impala. And in that picture, I look like an Irish Joey Ramone because my hair is so big. Because, <laughs> like, I... Right before we flew back from Denver, my eyes started being sore, and I'm like, I'm getting a sty. I fucking know it. I'm getting a giant sty, and I'm going to look like a fucking mutant when I meet Jensen and Jared. And I did. That's why my glasses are on, because it hurts to have my contacts in right now. But, like, you're not nearsighted, are you? Um, I can't see far away. Does that mean I'm nearsighted? Yeah. Like, yeah, that I'm nearsighted. With astigmatism. I, I am exceptionally nearsighted. If you if you know anything about eyeglass prescriptions, I'm a minus seven. I'm a minus three, I think. I'm twice as blind as yeah. you are. Like I can literally see without these glasses on about that. Yeah, point. about this far. Yeah. And then everything's so hair and makeup right now, a little dodgy. Like <laughs> just up because I'm like I can't. I I, can't I had a solution for you. I said you should just use an eye patch. Yeah. So that would have been badass with baby with the car. And I'm like, wow, I don't want to be buried in a pet cemetery. Like, cause my hair was just huge. Cause I don't have much control of it over, over it right now. So but I'm hoping my eye is healed. We're working New York comic con. Yes, week. you are. Who, who are you going to be working with this year? You don't know who you're assigned to yet. Uh, are we allowed to say, no, we can't. We're yet. not allowed to say till after. Oh, so a surprise. Yeah. I do know we do know we just got our schedule today, but we're not allowed to say we're until very excited. after it's over. But we are very excited. Are are you are you working with Uncle Scrooge? <laughs> no. Damn. I can tell you that we are not working with Uncle Scrooge. I don't think he's there this year. Damn. He's not on the list. And the Hobbits were supposed to be there, but they all canceled. <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing you can actually say, and it's true. They are they're doing a big angel twentieth anniversary reunion, so all those Ooh. people are gonna be there. Oh the Angel is gonna be there. They're doing a panel and like they're all doing signings and photo ops. So that should James be James cool. Marsters, he's he's the nicest dude. He's, he's gonna, gonna be there. Yeah, he's nice he's dude. He's cool dude. Uh all right. So So you'll be at New York Comic Con, lots of stuff coming up. Um We need to get well, I do want a little bit of quick good news for me. Um I got the news today that my blood pressure is back to normal after six months. That's awesome. Because I, I was telling people when they originally checked my blood pressure, when I went into the doctor, um, she did it manually with the pump and the thing and, and looked at it. And she was like, I've got to get the machine. Because she looked at the results and, was, and then she went and got the machine because my blood pressure was officially, oh, no, That's that was good. my blood pressure. But now it's back to where they claim is normal blood pressure for people. However, on the downside, after they did my blood pre- test, I still need to have a change to my thyroid medication, so they need to up that as well. That we're just going to keep keep messing with it until I effectively have it's normal again. And That's then, all they do is keep tweaking it until it's normal. Uh, yeah, which could take the rest of my life. Because it's going to go up and down depending. Yeah. So, yeah. Yay! But yay for blood pressure. <clears throat> and screw my insurance that won't cover any of my lab work. No. I've been fighting with them about this. Because it's it's not like this is like... 
I'm not I'm not having them take my blood for fun. Okay? Yeah. You don't just enjoy it. It's not like, you know what? While I'm in here, take out a pint. Let's just go nuts. We had to go insurance will pay for it. Lab work done and they had to go like three people <clears throat> deep to get blood out of this guy. <sighs> Like, he has, like, fucking yeah. dwarf skin or something. <laughs> and they just couldn't get him to bleed. So, like, the first girl called in the second girl, and then she called in someone else. And they're just like, do you have blood? I was waiting for the little I walk in and be like, we're just going to cut an arm off. Yeah, like, do you, do you bleed? Do you bleed? You will. All right. All right. Let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine... Radio Dead Air audience go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And um, the first one this week, uh, we've got video, and I'm going to have to add my own soundtrack. Because Ooh. if I tried to add the actual music we need, um, YouTube will block it. I wish I could, but it's one of those where YouTube will not allow of a week last week. I heard you hurt Luke very badly again. You missed the exploding semen! I did. What a week we had! The exploding semen! You missed it! Alright, here we it go. It seems like you get worse stuff when I can't make it and poor Luke has to be there. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Here's video. Are you ready? It was just before 9 o'clock oh, I gotta mute this. Thursday night. Da, 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 da. So that yeah, a bear broke into the middle school. Bear breaks into Pennsylvania Middle School. Voice for Spare broke in. Bradford School District. There he goes. District officials say the bear charged the door at full speed. Hit the window frame hard enough to pop the frame out. Officials say they believe the bear was spooked when he saw his reflection. So <laughs> he is ripping through this place. He just wants an education. <laughs> he wants opportunity. I mean, his his people are going to take over the world, and he wants to be president. Bear wants opportunity, just like the rest of us. Exactly. So yeah, the the poor bear. He just got he just got in there. And he gunned it. He, he was going full speed. Well, now he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> like, now he's in this fucking maze. Yeah, this, this little... The, the bear the bear saw his own reflection. He was like, fight me! And then suddenly it was like, oh no. This was not so the plan. When the bear sees his reflection, uh -huh. does that mean like six extra weeks of fall? <laughs> does that mean six more weeks of pumpkin spice? Because I'd be okay with that. Uh, no, I don't believe. Damn. Only custodians were in the building at the time. Oh, that must have sucked. Can you even imagine? Like, I do not get paid enough for this shit. Yeah, you're already vomiting. I mean, you're already cleaning up the vomit with that powder crap. Yeah. Do they still use that? Do oh, you remember that? It was awful. <laughs> you're already cleaning up that crap. You're having to take care of the bathrooms where this horde of... You're having to clean up the bathrooms and locker rooms, which, like... Teenagers are, it's not your fault. But they're we heathens. So we were teenagers, but teenagers are gross. They are disgusting primates in the worst sense. Yeah. And you're already having to deal with this, and then all of a sudden, there's a fucking bear. You're like, that's not my, my fucking job description. This, I don't get it. I don't get it, any good benefits for this shit. There's a bear. If the bear shits on the gym floor, I'm not waxing it. Uh, man. Uh, it was the poor, the poor bear. I, I feel a little sorry for the bear. Oh, no, because once he got in there, he's like, "Oh no, what have I done?" This, this is not. The, the, his world has changed to a bad place. Oh, uh, but wait, there's more. I, I, I call this. I, I think this next story is officially a mood. Um. Deer breaks into Fenton home, refuses to leave bathtub. This is like the nature fights back weeks. <laughs> Aww. I, hey. 
<laughs> Fenton police responded to a bizarre breaking and entering on Wednesday. Police believe a beer may have been hit by a car. Oh no. And then crashed through the window of a home. Once inside the home, police say the deer went into the bathtub and would not leave. I wouldn't either. No. That's at that point. It's like, I'm staying here. This is safe. Gotta be honest. This is going to sound bitchy. If my grout looked like that, I don't think they'd, I'd let them put the picture in the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Tara, but Tara, there's a there's a deer in the bathtub. No, no, the grout looks terrible. Don't, don't let them take it. I'd be like, no, you cannot have the picture I took because my bathtub <laughs> needs to be scrubbed. And I wasn't ready for this. I wasn't prepared for a celebrity. <laughs> uh, deer received cuts to the head and the eye. They took care of it. Surprisingly, the deer didn't knock over anything in the home. That's impressive. The deer just came in. Excuse me, I, I need help. Climbed into the bathroom and is like, I'm done. I, 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 I hit my head and it hurts. We've all had days like that. We'll get in the bathtub. I ain't leaving. This, I'm done. Uh, is the bathtub done. What if you could Photoshop the grout to make it clean? I would. <laughs> I would send them a doctored ass photo. You have the skills. Yeah. You can rebuild it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> support the poor deer. <laughs> like, I, I have a boo boo. Can I just sleep here? <laughs> Poor baby. Well, I'm glad they got. I'm glad they got her help. It's just. I, I think it's a her because she doesn't have antlers. Right. It's a her. Just, just dove through the window. I'm like, I'm here now. Goodbye. And got in the bathtub and would not leave. Just, and you lay down. I'm not going anywhere. No. Well, we had, we had, we all oh God. This is another thing that happened this week, and we've had stories like this before, and I don't under. Uh, Okay, let's start with the first one of of two. ASIC shop broadcast porn to passerbys for nine hours. Pornography. No notice that pornography played on giant television screens at an ASIC sports store in New Zealand for hours over the weekend after ha hackers took over the shop's IT systems. The porn was streamed onto streets facing Auckland's Green Street, the country's busiest shopping thoroughfare, and wasn't stopped until employees arrived to open the store on Sunday morning. I'm thinking the store's open and nobody noticed. Like, um, Tanya Lee, a mother who was on her way to breakfast with her seven-year-old son and strolled past A6, told the Harrow the content was, quote, totally inappropriate and offensive. I took, I love that. She says it was totally inappropriate and offensive, but then she says, I took a second look because I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. <laughs> oh, really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I, I actually know someone who, well, knew someone who did something like this. Oh, no. You can, there's always a story, Tara. There's always a freaking story. Back in college, a bunch of us worked at the local mall that was near my college, back when I worked at Spencer Gifts, which is the seventh circle of hell. Yeah. And a bunch of my friends worked at the now defunct FYE mm. that used to, back in the day, when you bought physical CDs and cassettes. Yeah, they, 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 they carried these strange things yeah. called CDs. Yeah, these, and these like odd... They, that, and discs with movies yeah. on them. Yeah, exactly. Um, and tapes and stuff. So they had this particular FYE outside of all the entrances had a row of TVs above the entrance. And they always had like... Whatever, whatever they were promoting at the time was playing on the TVs. Mm -hmm. You get five TVs playing 90210 because that season just came out, whatever. And there was this kid that worked there, this like quiet, nice, unassuming dude. And he thought it would be funny one night after closing because they were going to be there late to. They also had a big screen in the store where they could play things. Mm -hmm. And on the big screen, he put on the naked Macarena, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's an instructional video on how to do the Macarena, except everybody in it was naked. I don't know who paid money for this, but people did. What he didn't realize 
was that whatever you put on the big screen in the store also played on the screens outside the store. So they transmitted the naked Macarena to the whole mall where people were still walking around because nobody leaves the mall on time because people are terrible. Right. And well, now he, they have an incentive to stay. Yeah. And he got fired. Well, yeah, you shouldn't do. But at this case, this wasn't the, the store actually was not responsible for this. Because now here's one thing I want to know. Why was their video set up put on the Internet? Yeah. Why isn't that? I mean, is this like a, like a store, like a Pandora thing you set up to, to like have the store play video for a specific? It might be like some stores now, instead of giving you a Muzak CD, you have like satellite radio. <laughs> yeah. And set stations. So it might be that like they have no control what's on their video screens, like corporate runs it. And that this is the problem with that. This is the problem with not just giving them a fucking DVD to pop in. Uh, the security security officer Dwayne Hanango says some people were shocked, others just stopped and watched. Do, I mean, do you really want to be that guy on the high street on a Sunday morning, sitting there going, "Oh, you think those are real?" <laughs> <laughs> Honey, why can't you do that? <laughs> do you really want to be that guy? Because no, I don't understand why anyone won't. No one wants to be that guy. But I gotta wait. Be I probably stand there and watch. But wait! But wait! What? But wait! What? Same week. Police investigating after porn plays on I seventy five billboard. Oakland County, Michigan. Drivers along one Michigan interstate got an eyeful this weekend. That's because there was a pornographic film playing on a billboard. Was oh. there like a hundred car pileup? <laughs> awesome. Because I promise you that if he was driving down the highway and all of a sudden there was hardcore porn on a billboard, he would hit somebody. Probably. <laughs> Auburn Hills police released a video that shows what they say are the two people who they believe broke into a building housing the computer that controls the video for the billboard. Um, quote, one of the acts, one of the drivers says, I kind of almost got in an accident. It's because he was distracted on his way from dinner Saturday night, driving on I-75. I came across a billboard and it was something unusual. I saw two girls. Lesbian porn. He's very specific. Yeah. <laughs> I was an eyewitness. Boy, was I an eyewitness. And I knew I hadn't seen this one before because the last time I saw Jenna James in a movie, she wasn't blonde. <laughs> <laughs> now, this one I cannot blame on inter the Internet because they actually did the right thing. This was not connected to the Internet. This was in a physical building. That was locked. That people broke into just to do this. They broke into, and, and look, look, if you look at the video there, one of them's got their phone out. So they're filming this. I mean, they're probably going to put it up on YouTube next week. <laughs> the damn kids today. Yeah, here's, here's the video. You look there. There they are. Got his phone out. They're like, what, what? What is wrong with you people? Okay, so, so yeah, you put, you knock the camera over. Nice. That's that. They still got you on video, you idiot. Yeah. Also, I mean, also, like, I want to know, like they're in little hazmat suits. Also, I want to know they're covering their faces. They aren't wearing gloves. Oh. Yeah. No, they're not. Your fingerprints are all over that keyboard, dumbass. Yeah. You kind of have to touch it. <sighs> They'll never know it was us. Bare hands. All, they cover up their heads with bare hands. Idiots. Idiots. It's a perfect plan. I can kind of understand the temptation here. I mean, I've seen those roadside signs. that Remember the one that hacked to say it, the, the, zo caution? Yeah. Zombies ahead. That was kind of cute. Oh, and there was one this past weekend, I think weekend or before that, it said impeach the motherfucker. 
that was a cool one. I kind of get that. But if you if yeah, people in the channel are like, hey, it's your boy back at it again. Guess what we're doing today? Fucking YouTubers. <laughs> and I say I am one technically. Right. This is this is going on YouTube. But you YouTube. Know. No, but it's I I can understand it. But if you put stuff up on a moving billboard, you are going to distract people. You're going to kill somebody, especially if it's lesbian porn. Yeah. Because people are definitely going to be like, uh, because you, you normally when you see a billboard, you're like, oh, okay, that's... you're not going to be like, what? It, wait, did I actually see that? Holy shit! What? And then you're going to hit somebody. People are going to die. I'm honestly surprised that there's nothing in this story about like a huge pileup. Right. It's kind a of a miracle. Caused by a pileup. It's kind of a miracle. <laughs> I don't. I don't understand how that. <sighs> Maybe it wasn't very good porn. Maybe it was like Skinamax level. That's true, yeah. Maybe it was just boring. Dull. There's nothing worse than dull porn. Yeah. <sighs> ah, all I right. To have like a plot. <laughs> he fell asleep watching something one night, and by the time like I got into the room, <laughs> it, it switched over to Skinamax. Mm. And it was this ludicrous pod about like this chick was trying to save her family's bowling alley. And like you could tell looking at this chick, she couldn't spell bowling, let alone had ever done it. She's trying to save her family's bowling alley that's been in her family for generations. And they're having to have a fundraiser. So they do a bikini calendar. And obvious hijinks ensue in the bowling alley. And I was just like, with bad eight bit music. Yeah. And I felt like Maude Lebowski. The plot is ludicrous. <laughs> I mean, you know, at that point, if you're going to pay to make a movie and you don't have a freaking script worth, just go ahead and make the porn. Nobody's watching for the plot. Nobody's watching. You've made a stupid thing. Nobody, nobody, I mean, people, especially, I don't even understand the point of softcore anymore because there are so many alternatives. Yeah. Once upon a time, softcore served a purpose because you couldn't broadcast the hard stuff. So it was about as hard as you could get. Now you can get it on your phone. It's there. It's everywhere. Like, what's yeah. the point? Also, nobody's watching for the character development, so just skip it. <laughs> All right. Next, this next story is actually a little bit sweet in a stupid way. I mean, bless his heart. Escaped Mississippi inmate said he went to see his mom. Aww. Mississippi inmate shimmied over the barbed wire at his county jail and returned hours later, saying he'd gone to see his mom. <laughs> Leesville, Mississippi inmate shimmied over the barbed wire at his county jail and returned hours later. Therian Ledger reports that uh, Wantez Lyons... Uh, escaped Saturday and returned Sunday morning less than an hour after someone had tried to break into the local police department evidence vault with a sledgehammer. Mm. Quotes Lawrence County Undersheriff uh, Brian Rayboard telling the uh, Daily Leader that Lyons initially claimed he'd been locked out. Jailer on duty had been fired. About the same time, the Monticello Police Department was broken into a mile away. Hmm. Chief David Stanley says authorities have a person of in interest, but declined to say if that's Lyons. Lyons, jailed on bur burglary and traffic charges, was charged with an escape Monday. All right. First Wait, off. Did, 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 was his excuse that he got locked out of jail? First off, yeah. It was that he got locked out of jail, yes. I don't think that's a mistake they make. Yeah, yeah, dog, they put me on the wrong side. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, bro. I, don't, I, I, just, I was out here. I mean, that's pretty much the basics. Don't I was minding my own business when suddenly I was on the other side of the bars. I don't know how it happened. Not my job. I don't run the place. Now, now the idea that, okay. First off, I, I understand if even if he didn't do the break-in, that excuse I went to see my mom was trying to play on heartstrings. Yeah. However, um, Lyons, jailed on burglary and traffic charges, was charged with escape. Even if you go to see your mom, yeah, you still broke out of jail. It doesn't matter if you came back. It's not. It's not. You know, because your mom needed help lifting a box or something. No, doesn't that you don't get a freebie for that? No, you don't. But on the other hand, it's also suddenly 
at the same time the evidence vault gets broken into with a sledgehammer, no less. You're not slick, dude. No. You're not you're not as slick as you think you are. I mean, he shimmied over the barbed wire without getting hurt. That apparently. is true. That's some skill. I will that's grant it. That's pretty fucking slick. No, no, that's skill. That's skill, but that's not being slick. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I I bring I I blame the president because we we've now we we have lowered the bar on what acceptable um you know chicanery and <laughs> and, and and deception is. I mean, there there is no bar. No, right. It's like the bar's on. Hey, just blatantly say whatever the hell they want and pretend like it's true. And it's like yeah. you know nobody's slick anymore. We we we've it's a lost art. We've learned that you don't have to be. You don't have to be. You, you can be a total fucking dumbass. You know why I was... Hey, hey, Terry, you know why I was late? Tonight, you know why I was late? I was in space. I was really? in fucking space. Yep. What's space guy like? Is he nice? He's nice, yeah. I was in fucking space. That's where I was. Prove I wasn't. Do they have the replicator, like, on Star Trek? Yes, they do. Because I would just live on, like, Pepsi and flan and Rice Krispie yeah. treats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you would die. <laughs> You'd be dead. No, because the replicator can do anything. Right? So I'd be like, make me a, make me like a V eight, but make it taste like a Pepsi. <laughs> it can't work miracles, dear. I would hack the shit out of that thing. Our our last one tonight is again from the happiest place on earth. Well, not well, the happiest place on earth, Europe. I'm surprised this one wasn't the Florida one. Did you? Wait, hey, Euro Disney still open? Do you, everyone remember there was still a there's a Disney World in Paris? I honestly thought or it Disneyland. was Disneyland. <laughs> I honestly didn't realize it was still open. Disneyland Paris guest goes on bad LSD trip, falls into a lake, and ends up naked. Oh, that is not the place you want to do acid, I don't think. <laughs> no, it is not. Like, I've personally never dropped acid, but I feel like that's the last place I'd want to. You don't want to do acid and then get on, like, Pirates of the Caribbean or some shit. Or walk no. around a place where there's creatures with giant heads. No. And big smiles. I feel like Goofy might make you run into them. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a bad idea. Visit to the Disney well, <laughs> A visit to the Disney parks is meant to be a magical experience. However, it seems one Swiss man visiting Disneyland Paris went a little too far in his attempts after he took LSD and went missing at the European resort. According to reports, the man was later found naked and confused after a 130 person search and rescue effort. The 32-year-old man was forced reported missing on Friday night after his 30-year-old girlfriend told police her boyfriend had fallen into a lake in the park's Adventureland and hadn't make it back to the surface of the body of the water. The police telling her how her boyfriend first went missing, she also revealed she had just given him the hallucinogenic drug prior to his fall. It, wasn't, it was then realized that the man had fallen into the man-made lake near Pirate's Beach, a children's play area surrounded by water. Upon alerting park officials the man's disappearance, a search party of 30 firefighters, 10 divers, 10 policemen, 80 Disney, Disney Paris employees, and a police helicopter with a thermal imaging camera all formed together in an attempt to find the man. Now, okay. A partridge in a pear tree. I love that this effort included 80 Disneyland Paris employees. Were these the kind that were going around in the outfits? Because, like, you're you're tripping balls, right? <laughs> and you're in the water, and now you're naked, and you don't know where you are. You're in this crazy <laughs> fucking place, and there's an army of giant-headed freaks chasing you. Just to give you an example, look at this picture here of Captain Hook. Exactly. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> Jesus fuck! Like, at that point, you're like Peter Parker and Far From Home, where he's like stuck with all the illusion tech. Yeah. <laughs> no. Don't don't drop acid at Disney World, guys. No. <laughs> so yeah, that that's that's that. Uh, however, in a later report, 
It was revealed the Swiss man had actually been found naked about a mile from the theme park. He was walking in the middle of the road. He did not have a centimeter of cloth on him, and he walked barefoot. I stopped, got out of the car, went to meet him. He had scratches on his legs and arms. He did not remember anything. <laughs> Maybe that's that's for the best. That's probably, yeah. That's probably a kindness. That's that's not one of those experiences you want in your life forever. Because that that that's one of those ones you don't want to you don't want an acid flashback. You just don't. Yeah. Grandpa, can we go to Disney? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! Oh my God! What did the seven dwarves do to you, Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I, I guess the first thing we learned this week is um, it's already the happiest place on Earth. You don't have to enhance it. It's not gonna be happy if you do it. It's, it's not gonna be. You're not gonna make it happier. You're you're gonna make it. Oh God. Just a living night. I feel oh, like God. if you're going to do drugs at Disney World, maybe just stick to pot. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? <laughs> All you're going to do is you're going to sit down someplace and eat a lot of food. Right. And they have good food there. They do. You like, cool, man. Yeah. Giant mouse and suspenders. That's right. cool. That's it's cool. cool. You know? Um, we've learned this week that, uh, just because you come back after you get out of, after you break out of jail does not mean all is forgiven. No, no, it's it's not it's not suddenly you no. Know, oh, it's cool, you, man. It's cool. You don't get a night off. No. Um, we've learned that uh, there there apparently is a a cottage industry of hacking devices to put porn on them. It, it that is like the the most of all. You have a, an option. To put anything you want in front of many eyeballs without their being able to stop you. And you pick porn? Yeah. Like, what would you put up there? Hmm. I'd have to think about it. I, have to, I, would I think, know. Like, what's your message to the world? I would put up something really... <laughs> I, I'd like, I would work on something to put up there if I was hacking it, you know? I'm not I mean, gonna want to put up like one of your own videos because then you're obviously gonna get caught. Well, yeah, exactly. You want to put up like one of Dom's videos. <laughs> <laughs> um, a Dom video where he mentions you. Right. So you still get the publicity, but he goes to jail. <laughs> We've learned sometimes you just need to stay in a bathtub. Some days are like that, man. And we've learned that uh, your your school custodian was not paid enough to deal with a fucking bear. Fuck no. <laughs> we we often I, I, often on this 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 show we encounter those things. It's like I keep saying it, it's like a short circuit of reality. You see them, yeah. and it's like, no, that's it's not in the tricks, man. Right? It's not supposed to. That didn't happen. No. What bear? What no? There's that split second where you're like, wait, what? No. What? No. You're stuck trying to comprehend it. And suddenly a bear would probably be one of those things. Yeah. Like you're waxing the floors at the middle school at night and suddenly there's a bear. That would make you question how much of that wax you'd inhaled over the years. <laughs> like, man, I got to fucking retire. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, that is that. That's the the holy crap. That that was like weirdly harmless tonight. Well, there weren't any bodily fluids. You missed I mean, it. There, there was one naked guy. There's one naked guy, but yeah, you. I'm sorry you missed the exploding semen, Tara. You know, maybe next time. If I had a nickel for every time a man said that to me. <laughs> <laughs>